Good morning. Another beautiful day in Thailand. Hopefully the rainy season is actually really, really gone. I thought this last week, we had really some, some great days. And then Friday, Saturday, it rained like you've never seen before. Absolute devastation in the streets here. Flood water on the path here. Half the beach washed away again. Um, just unbelievable the amount of water that comes down in a couple of hours. And I was actually stuck in a bar, which was terrible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's funny that when this happens in Thailand, the transport here is, is pretty good. Um, I get a boat taxi from my housing to other end of Jump Yen, and it's about 70 baht. But I generally give them 100. But whenever it rains, I can double or more. So I came in last week uh, into my one of the bars, and it cost me uh, 58 baht. And I was going home in the rain to 127. <laughs> so it was a bit of a strange one, but uh, I still give me a tip anyway. But it's a cracking day. Uh, I'm actually going to see a new condo uh, that will be posted pretty, pretty sharpish. So, the story behind the condo is um, my dad's trying not very comfortable sitting here. I'm trying to get you a different view apart from my ugly mug. Let me see some of the beach behind me. Uh, my dad's coming for um, three months spiritually in November. So, I'm looking for a condo for him. But my lease is up in March. So rather than scurry around in March looking for another one, we've done a sort of three-way thing. My dad's going to take my condo, the one that I live in just now. Um, I'm going to move into a new one, take a year lease again, get the best deal on a year lease. And when my dad goes home at the end of January, my best buddy Joe is going to take the remaining lease on my condo. So I don't lose my 10,000 deposit. So it's a three-way three -way swap. Um, I've seen a couple. Um, some of them are pretty good, but some are expensive. Now, I mean, I'm really spoiled where I am. I mean, I paid 10,000 for a really nice condo, 55 square meters, beautifully furnished. Overlooking the main road, that's okay. Um, but the problem is it's, uh, it can be pretty noisy, you know, there's, there's some uh, some construction going on, it can be a bit of a pain. So I was looking to go internal uh, in our own condo in Aqua. Uh, and I looked at three in Aqua. Now, I looked at one that was really, really nice. But unfortunately it was ground floor, had a bigger patio, you know, had a decent sized patio. Um, but had an, an eight foot hedge the other side of the path. And then behind the hedge was about uh, 12 foot trees. So it was pretty dark. And I love to be in the light, you know. I mean, my condo is, is just wall to wall windows. Uh, and from going to that into a dark a dark room, even though it was a nice, nicely furnished room, um, just didn't sit well. So I passed on that one. I looked at another one, um, 8,000, smaller condo. But I say I don't need a big thing, and this is half the, the sort of thinking of the downsizing, if you like. Uh, it's uh, economy. With the pound being so crap abroad just now, um, I'm losing a bit of money on my pension that I can't afford to lose. So the way to combat that is downsize. Uh, although it's no big deal, it's a bit of a step backwards, really. But you know what? I picked up a nice condo. I had to um, ask if they could swap the furniture over because the furniture was dreadful um, or at least give it a clean, it was absolutely disgusting so I'm in the process of that one but I'm still going to go look at this condo today it's at the, the Caribbean um, Resort which is just up, just up the road, Repair Road 6th floor um, 1 bedroom I, I've seen the pictures, pictures look pretty nice uh, I don't but, Pictures can be deceptive, depending on what it's like inside, you know, the, the sort of pictures and furnishings. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the thinking of that one. So I'll head over there and I'll 
finish off the report on that one. Uh, and I'll see. I'm actually looking. I probably won't get this one, but it's good to, to have a look and also just to give you guys uh, an idea of what's out there. This one's all, also 8,000 baht. Now, where, where Aqua scores over this other one is that I like Aqua. It's got a nice feel about it. It's a really nice condo. It's well cared for. The pools are great. Not that I use the pools very often, but it's, it's always in good condition. The staff are excellent. Um, and it's 250 yards to the beach. You know, so that's the draw, you know. Um, and the, down, uh, the downside was another one is uh, outside noisy. This new one is fourth floor pool view um, facing. Uh, so, but unfortunately it's going to give you a bit of a dilemma because I'm up at 6 o'clock in the morning, half by 6, on the balcony until maybe half 11, having coffee. But now, I'm going to be in the sun. It's going to be too hot for me that time of the morning, so I'm going to have to, <laughs> to rearrange my days. I'll start staying until 12 o'clock, I'm not quite sure how to go about that one. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's head off and have a look at this little condo. I'm uh, outside the Grand Caribbean uh, condo. This is uh, actually going to be a bit of a condo tour for me. The um, story behind it is my dad's coming for three months, so I'm going to put him into my condo uh, where there's everything, Wi-Fi, everything, etc, 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 and I can rough it for a few months. But if it's nice, uh, my condo tour is due up, so I will um, see you for a year. So just going to see how it, uh, how it pans out. Let's go and have a look. Okay. So, oh, that's quite, uh, quite pretty, and uh, compact. Oh, it's got Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's start in the most important place. Start in the bathroom. Yeah, it's okay. Shower heads are very great. What's up, rain shower? It's a bit grubby, but uh, maybe a bit clean won't, uh, won't harm that. Nice big bed, which is nice. Um, nice flooring, wooden flooring as opposed to tiles in the bedroom. Tiles in the main room. Uh, what's a bed test? Mm, pretty thorough. Not as soft as mine, but I won't die because of it. Look out the window. There's no view to speak of. Well, the bed looks nice enough. Plenty of cupboard space, I think. I hate when a fat boy gets in the camera. Okay, very small, safe. Not be big enough for a. Uh, some chest of drawers. More drawers here. Yeah, plenty, plenty of space. It's only big enough uh, for one person. Um, and it's 2,000 baht cheaper than mine. Um, nice sofa. Small TV. You take a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> washing machine, which is not really a bonus. I, um, I don't really use a washing machine. Uh, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't use it, so I wouldn't miss it. My problem is the washing machine uh, takes up an awful lot of space, as does this area on this balcony. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's a downsize. I don't see any furniture for the balcony either. That may be a, an optional extra. Okay, so it's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's very clean, very tidy. Small balcony. No, it's no smaller than the one back here I've got. I maybe need to get rid of that, uh, that clothes dryer and put it someplace else. But as a rule, it's got a nice sort of wooden effect. Wall, uh, sofa. I'm going to try it, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, that's pretty comfortable. I'm okay. with that. The TV is small compared to what it used to, but what the hell? No big deal. Um, nice cooking facility, two rings, uh, contact hob. I'm guessing there's plenty of cutlery, etc. Oh, that's a bit bare. <laughs> it's a bit sparse. I'm used to quite a lot of stuff, so. Yeah, that's not uh, not super exciting, the, the cutlery side of things. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, one cup. Yeah, I've got my own cup set enough. But anyway, plastic cups. Mm. 
a couple of lasers, a couple of bulls, pretty shitty uh, crockery etc. Got some tools, I don't know where the no drawers. No. So I don't know where the crockery is. Yeah, standard pans in the bottom. Microwave looks okay. Clean, tidy. Cut on the table. Yeah, it's nice. It's well set. And I think this is about 8,000 baht. It's going to save me 10. It's going to save me so sort of 2. I paid 10 already. So it's pretty good. And the fridge freezer. Um, Again, nice and clean, looks pretty new. Small freezer, I maybe need to um, economise my freezing, I do freeze quite a bit of food. But yeah, it's pretty good. Nice uh, nice and tidy. Um, I'll cut this on top, that's why it's hiding. Uh, and uh, the guy actually showed me, he's got an ironing board. What the hell, you know? What am I going to do with an ironing board? And, an iron. Now I've been here nearly a year, I've never ironed in my life. So this goes, nothing can stay there, and nothing's going to happen with that iron. Hello oh, well, guys, okay. So, going to go to number one, done. Hope you find it uh, interesting, and uh, we'll see what happens, okay? Okay, so we're going to have a look at the swimming pool. Now this is uh, a bit of a surprise actually because I didn't realise it was more the Royal Car the, the Caribbean condo complex than the big building that we see from the main road. So I'm quite surprised that there's quite a nice bit at the back, it looks very posh. Um, pretty good, some sun beds, plenty of trees, uh, I think the foliage is good. Uh, and the Caribbean building goes all the way back, which is really quite surprising to me. But yeah, it's good. Um, looks like it's got a nice shallow walk in way for the kids. A couple of boats to sort of horse around on. Not that I'm a horse around type of person now. But yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. And always when I'm making a vlog, it starts to rain. But hey ho. Just uh, just the way things are. So another deck, looks like a lighthouse feature over here, don't know what's on the lighthouse feature, that looks pretty good. I'm a bit of walk on the boat, oh I can't get on the boat, closed off. That looks pretty good, all complex and nice, nicely, nicely kept. And of course I'm overlooking, overlooking the car park, which is a bit standard for me. Okay guys, so I'm going to do condo number two in a second, so I'll see you soon.